In human history, the man is expected to be the provider, the hunter. The female was expected to be the nurturer and submissive to the male who is told he is dominant. As time passed and we evolved as a species, the ritualistic norms and expectations began to make less sense. But it wasn't until October 18, 1929, that women would be recognized as persons by the Supreme Court after being unanimously denied in 1927. This spurned a women's rights movement that is still in process and evolving to this very day. Many people believe the balance has shifted too far though, and what was once considered polite etiquette is now patronizing and met with disdain and disgust. This dynamic shift in the male-female paradigm begs the question, is chivalry dead? How does courtship work in this new modern world? How has the courtship ritual evolved and adapted? And if chivalry is dead, is that a death toll for romance altogether? These are the questions that one artist from Cincinnati is exploring in her song, Trick or Treat. Partner, it is your local side advisor, Sleazy Buttons, on behalf of Picture Perfect Entertainment. On tonight's episode of Trick or Treat, we're going to discuss the trick or not the trick. Should you spend money on that, honey? We're actually looking for a few people to answer some of our questions, because today we need to figure out to trick or not to trick. Hey, hey buddy, you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Um, On a first date, who should pay? I think definitely the guy. Okay. Yeah. Even, if some, even if she asked him out? Yeah. Okay, we like the answers to that. Trick. How would you feel about her paying for a date, fourth or fifth date? The fourth or fifth one, you know, I, I think at that point it, it's, you know, you're going to start switching off back and right. forth. So, you know, right. whoever proposes the date at that time, I feel like, you know, whoever proposes it can, can start paying for it. But, okay. you know, but to start off, you know, I think it's always the gentleman's responsibility to, to pay for the first one or the first few. I think there'll be a lot of ladies proud of you out there, Matt. <laughs> Hopefully my girlfriend's proud of me. Uh, hey, we hope she's proud of you. Shout out to Matt's girlfriend. We love her. Typically, if you have some type of rapport built with a person, the money in which you spend can be considered to be treating. If you all have no rapport built up, that money can be considered tricking. If you're the only person who spends money, you're probably tricking. If you have a fair exchange with someone, you know, she takes you out, you take her out, Oh, you probably treat me. What are we investing? See, I can treat you with my time, or I can trick you with my money. See, I may not have time to offer you, but I might have plenty of money. I may not have any money, but I got plenty of time to trick or treat. Uh, here's another question for you. What is the most expensive gift, and you don't necessarily, uh, this would be about you, the most expensive gift you've ever received and the least expensive gift you've ever received? This is from a girlfriend? This is from a girlfriend. It could be somebody you just dated too. Hmm. Like sometimes people just buy crazy gifts for people. <laughs> they do. Um, I think probably the most expensive was um, a, a trip. Okay. It was, it was a trip to Hocking Hills, and okay. she, she paid for you know us getting out there okay. and the uh, the cabin that we stayed in, uh, along with everything else that was you know included. We appreciate on the trip. all inclusive days, just so everybody so knows. Do I. Uh, okay. But then uh, the most expensive gift I gave was probably a uh, diamond uh, necklace. So. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Now, the reason we ask these questions is because the community wants to know to trick or not to trick. Now, some people are going, what do you mean by that? Usually, there's some type of exchange between people. Maybe it's just a small date. Maybe you guys are going for a walk in the park. Maybe you take a trip to Hocking Hills. Mm -hmm. You never know. But our thing is you want to trick responsibly. Take care of those who take care of you, but be mindful how you treat people and how you, know, how you want to be treated. Matt, again, we thank you for your time. Thank you. Um, have you ever had a sugar mama? Yeah. You have? Okay. Well, tell us a little bit about your experience with your sugar mama. What was it like? What are some of the things she used to do? What are some of the things you had to do or not? Well, I was like 18. I just literally turned 18. Okay. She was like, what, 29? Oh, So, Ooh, 
yeah, that was some sugar daddy, yeah. sugar mama age requirements. That, that's just what it was. Yeah, know? that's what she it was. She was outside the club with a PlayStation. <laughs> What's up? What you want to do? What you want to do? What game was that? It was well, NBA it was 2K. 2K, 2K I knew it was 2K. 2K, 2K, 2K. Ladies, so, if you want to bag one of these men, just get you a, a brand new uh, 2K. PS4, uh, PS4. Bad, some of them like Xbox, I'm a PlayStation kid, um, get them a, a, a 12 pack of his favorite beer or a bottle of his favorite, what is it, tequila? Ain't, uh, ain't, wait, no, you gotta get the subscription if you get the PlayStation or Xbox, you can't just get Because the, they gotta go online. You gotta get the whole online. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, gotta have the internet, all that, you can't be just playing have yourself, you got to be in there. Have, have yeah, to do, you know? get him together, you know, that's all. Time or money, as a guy from a guy's perspective, what would you rather a woman give you? Her time or her money? Her time. Her time. Because money don't mean nothing to a man, really. Okay. They don't impress. I mean, to do that impress, you probably you probably using her for it. Okay. You know, he's definitely you like. He might be. He probably needs somewhere to stay. He might need. He might have a garbage bag when when he get to your house. So beware. He might need somewhere to stay with the money, but it, I mean, it's nice that like. For a female to have that, that's not a okay. that's not a con necessarily. Right. Okay. Not all the time. So it is a blessing if she can offer to pay sometimes. Yeah, because that means y'all both want it. Yeah. Because you don't want you don't want you don't want her there for your money. You feel me? Right. Because if she got her own, that means she really spent the time with you. Right. She right. really like you. What is the best gift you've ever given to someone, and then tell us the best gift you've ever received? These are both the only first thing I think of with the same person. Because my favorite thing is comedy. Okay. We went to a comedy show. Okay. And something I've given her, I got her edible arrangements and sent it to her job. Let's say you're on your fourth or fifth time going out with a young lady or y'all dating, courting, whatever, whatever. What would you consider to be a good gesture or gift to give you to show their appreciation and their interest? Honesty is the best gift you can give me. Okay. Um, have you ever found yourself in a situation where you were spending more money than time? No, see, when I realize I'm spending more money than time, I'm a distance myself now. Okay. But that's what I mean by when you feel previous question what you're asking. Uh -huh. That's why I prefer honestly, so I know what this is. So I'm like, all right, you worth this. Right. Some people worth Taco Bell, some people worth Roof Chris. Where are we going? Some of the motherfuckers are worth meeting, but that's just me. I'm a hard deal. I'm not gonna lie. She can't get a hot and ready. No, she need to be hot and ready when I get there. Talked about you having the sugar mama. Did we ever talk about if you were a sugar daddy? No, I've never been a sugar daddy. Would you, in today's climate, would you ever be a sugar daddy? I ain't gonna hold you. If I had it, and <laughs> say in a few years, if I had it, I probably would trick on a little somebody. Y'all ain't gonna. I probably would. Yeah. If I ain't married or nothing like that, I probably would. Cause like, you just like you old and having fun now. I mean, what? She treat, she treat, do anything for me. Yeah, yeah. Hot boobies, daiquiris. We go on shopping sprees. Define tricking in your words, your terms. Tricking is when you easily tricked out of your money by mainly a young woman. Okay. I.e. prostitution. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where? You spent money that you didn't necessarily have to impress someone. No, I ain't risking my home by any any type of livelihood right. for that. No, it's not going down. Trick responsibility. Please trick responsibility. It is a major, major fact. Um, but then on top of that, say we are going out. Okay. I'm, I'm going to do stuff that I like. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's not a complete loss. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm that's smart. Trick. So uh, that kind of goes back to my thing about um, not necessarily not not reciprocity, but making sure that there's something in it for you. Sometimes people can get lost in trying to cater to their date or to whom they're treating too much, and you don't give them any parts of you. So it is very important that when you're courting someone or you're dating someone, that you put in. And then you leave those tidbits, because women are going to fucking pop quiz you whenever they see fit. <laughs> they're going to tell you all kind of shit about themselves, and then when you least expect it, there's this fucking test that I'm taking about what's her favorite and you don't dish, even know or you're it. You what's even her know favorite. You, you have no you fucking clue, it. okay? If she likes you, she'll give you room to grow. Yeah. If not, it's probably over for you. You probably don't have a shot in hell. Um, okay, I want to thank you for coming out. 
Miss, uh, you mind if I ask you a couple questions? What's your preference? Would you prefer a guy to spend time with you or to spend money on you? Um, I would say a little bit of both, but I like okay. time more than money, okay. personally. So. True. Fourth date. Y'all went out to eat together. Y'all went out to the movies together. He took you out dancing. Fourth date. What would be a good token of uh, the show, either appreciation for spending time with you or to get your attention? I would say some jewelry. I like a little gold myself. Not trick. Now let me ask you something. Do you ever spend money on your dates? Ooh, all the time. I'll be the first person to take my man on a $100 date to uh -huh. a fine, nice French restaurant. Don't waste your money. It's not worth it. So you believe in reciprocity? Oh, 100%. You should go halfway. If you're paying, I'll tip. Or if we go to the movies, I'll get the snacks. Like, it goes both ways. She's smart. Now, you're not going to hear this that often because sometimes people feel like they shouldn't spend money. You might be a tricking-ass bitch, but, I mean, that's who you are. That's who you are. Now, I know y'all are aware of the Trick or Treat song and you heard a little bit about it. And so what we're doing is reaching out to the community and find out who spends money and who doesn't. Is it Should it be a fair exchange or do you feel like it's a me, 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 me type of thing? A good fair exchange if you want it to be real, if you want uh -huh. it to be wholesome, uh -huh. but every now and again it is a little me, 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 okay. like birthday times, okay. but it is good to get back. Okay. It is. Now I'll be honest with you, not everybody has to trick. Some of us, the gift to gab is all it takes. A little piece of hope, okay, a little piece of dope, okay, maybe a little liquor, but you don't necessarily have to spend money. I guess the reason I put this together for you guys, I know some of you do need help. I know some of you, you just spend all your money on that, honey. I'm just trying to give you a few guidelines so you know whether or not to trick. I understand that some of you are a little lost. You maybe spent some money and didn't get back what you wanted. Now you'll never spend money on anybody else again. I don't want you to be caught dead last in a race. What we're going to do today is go over to Trickonomics one-on-one. -on -one. I want you to head on over to www.sleazybuttons.com and get a load of this good information we have for you. To trick or not to trick. It ain't no comparing. High, high trick, high trick, a couple hoes with me. No matter where you stand in the battle of the sexes, one thing is for certain. We all love to be loved. The way we show our love now is far and away not the same as it was 100 years ago. Just as it was different 500 years ago and will probably be different 100 years from now. But the root basis is still the same. Some will show love because they want a return of some kind and some will show love because that is the return. To trick or treat, the choice is yours. That's that motherfucking trick or treat available on